Hi, I'm Brent Underwood. I'm an agronomist with the NRCS and I work in the Southern High Plains in Panhandle of Texas. Today we're going to demonstrate our rainfall simulator. This is a field size simulation in which we're going to apply a very intense rainfall in a very short period of time to these soils. What we're going to demonstrate is the increased infiltration rate when we apply no-till farming and soil health practices. Now, what infiltration rate is, is how fast the water gets into the soil profile. Now, all these soils will infiltrate, but the no-till soils that have been managed with soil health practices and cover crops will infiltrate at a much faster rate. What this means to a farmer is that he increases or she increases the capacity at which they can harvest natural rainfall. In turn, this lets them grow their crops much more efficiently. In my first pan, this is a farm that has been no-till for about 10 years with a very diverse crop rotation. This land manager has rotated crops such as cotton, corn, wheat, and sunflowers, and he has incorporated cover crops into his management system. In my second pan, we have the same soil that's about 150 to 200 feet apart, separated by a turn row, that has been continuously tilled in a continuous cropping system of cotton and row water. The third pan, with all the residue on it, is the loamy soil. It has also been in a very diverse crop rotation with corn, wheat, and cotton. This land manager also incorporates cover crops into his fallow period. This particular field was wheat for harvest and has had a summer cover on it. And the fourth pan is my conventionally tilled soil, about another 100 and 200 feet apart on the opposite side of a turn row that has had limited residue management and continuous corn for several years. And now we're gonna make it rain. So now that we've stopped the rain, let's look at this. We've run for a very short time period. We have a little over an inch and about three tenths of rainfall. What I want you to really see is the difference in my buckets. My no-till clay loam soil had no runoff. The conventionally tilled soil with no residue management had lots of runoff. As we look at the loam no-till soil, it had no runoff, and the same soil with limited residue management and continuous cropping system started to run off as well. And now we're gonna dump our pans and see how much infiltration we had. The conventionally tilled is still dry on the bottom. The no-till is infiltrated all the way through. So as you can see, we have all this root mass from the cover crop that has increased our infiltration rate. So if we remember from our buckets, this had no runoff. This bucket had lots of runoff. With soil health principles, we have built soil structure and made much more pores and macro pores and allowed our rainfall to infiltrate. Conventional tillage, we have limited that infiltration. And you can see that this is much more collapsed and lacking structure. Now, what we need to remember is whether this is rainfall or irrigation, the no-till soil has done a much faster job of infiltrating rainfall or an irrigation application. Our farmers can achieve this. And as we go forward developing better management systems, this allows our farmers to better utilize their irrigation from the Ogallala Aquifer. These pans show exactly the same as the samples we've already showed you. But what makes these two samples much more interesting is the same farmer farms both fields. One he owns and one he works in partnership with a landowner. The landowner prefers to use conservation tillage. Conservation tillage is a a method in which we do some tillage to incorporate crop residues. As we can see in this pan, we have lots of corn residue that has been incorporated. As we saw earlier in the demonstration, this ran less water than conventionally tilled, but still ran quite a bit. So if we stop plowing, we allow the soils to bring much, much more infiltration in. I think this is a good management system, but if we look here, we have a better management system. 